Yes, I do have two special guests in the studio, Joanne Stugart and Ruth Brown. Good morning to y'all. Hey, good morning, Steve. Good morning. <laughs> okay, and who, who am I talking to first? Well, this is Ruth Brown, and I think I'm going to be doing most of the talking. And uh, did I say Joanne Stugart correctly? Absolutely. Joanne Stugart and Ruth Brown. I'm talking to downtown Ruth Brown right now. <laughs> well, it's a pleasure. I didn't even realize I'd be walking into the uh, Virginia's Country Legends studio here and yeah, got a right through that window. As you know, is a Flat and Scrug studio. It is a historical place. That's amazing. It's the more that I see Virginia, the more that I love about it. And actually, I'm on my. Uh, I'm, we're in the process of moving down here to Virginia. The where, where are you from? Upstate New York at the moment. Well, you don't have that accent. <laughs> well, that's because I grew up on country music, including Roy Clark and okay. Flat and Scruggs. <laughs> in fact, you've got a pretty even voice. Sounds good. Aww. Sounds good on the radio. Now, y'all are going to be talking about veterans, women, recovery, and community. Yes, actually, our our adventure down here that we're in the process of putting together is Turning Point Healing Retreat Center. All right, so Turning Point Healing Retreat Center, tell us about that. Yes, sir. It's uh, uh, at the moment we're in the process of creating it. So, twelve years ago, the Stugarts were moving down from upstate New York, and. Uh, uh, my wife and I were just putting together a uh, business in, oh, in the Albany area of upstate New York. So they said, we know we have a lot of land. We've got this really nice hill up behind us. Maybe you'd like to have a healing center. And I'm like, well, you know, we're just starting our business. We're just getting uh, things straight and thanks, but no thanks. And so they moved down here. And 11 years later, we happened to be heading to uh, Atlanta. And... We stopped at their house to see their now not so new house, and there we stand in the living room, looking up this beautiful hill. And Joanne says, "Maybe you'd like to have a healing center." And this time we heard that, and you know, it's one of those things where you know that God must be in charge because there was nothing on my radar that said, "I think I'll move to Virginia and build a healing center." Boy, that was really nice. <laughs> it was amazing. That was, uh, that was actually October of last year. We incorporated Turning Point Healing Center after kind of taking it back, putting it out to prayer and saying, hey, it seems like something to do. And when something flows, you sort of know that you're, in, you're on the right track. What is y'all's purpose? Well, we're, we're an educational facility, actually. So one of the things that we're building is a space big enough to have retreats and workshops probably especially starting on the weekends so friday saturday sunday with our focus being as you had mentioned on uh, veterans women recovery and community so we have four different things that we're working on and each one of them is a passion of ours uh john who happens to be a, a vietnam era vet and myself and i'm an air force vet uh have a passion for vets uh, four out of five of us on our board are women. We have a passion to uh, help and empower women. Uh, recovery. Most all of us are in some type of recovery. And, uh, and there's something about that that we just reach out. That's a purpose and a service. So, and community. The coolest thing about Turning Point is it's not that we want to be some strange place up on the hill where people wonder what the heck is going on. <laughs> <laughs> so we want to be a part of the community. So the people that come in here, which we're hoping to bring from all over the country, but especially from the East Coast, right. for example, our vets, they come in and we're going to need B&Bs. We're going to need places for them to stay, places for them to eat, things for them to do. Uh, folks, if they come in a day or two earlier, there might be people who say, I'd like to take a few folks out fishing. Maybe I'd like to take a couple of folks out walking on right. the nature paths, anything like that. So we're really here. We want to bring our contribution to this really beautiful place. Veterans are welcome. Women are welcome. The community really welcome. Yes, absolutely. In fact, what we're doing right now, because this uh, this particular year, we're doing our footwork. We're doing the planning. We're getting uh, uh, we're getting things together as we can. So we actually rented a space in the Cambridge Community Center, and we've been doing some classes. Uh, John and Joanne ran a self defense class. And uh, we've done some painting and some art classes in communities. 
Debbie, my wife, uh, teaches yoga and, uh, and also healthy eating. So she's going to be doing classes on helping people to find easy ways of cooking healthy things. And then we get to eat it later. That's my part. Okay. <laughs> so is, uh, is Joanne talking to me this morning? Uh, good morning to Joanne Stugard. Good morning. Uh, right I, up to you, ma'am. I say good morning to Virginia every day. I go out and say good morning to Virginia, and every night I, I'm so thankful to be here. I love it. We've got a beautiful state, don't we? Absolutely. Absolutely. I say good night, Virginia, and I say good morning, Virginia. What drew you to Turning Point Healing Retreat Center? All my life I've been a teacher. I taught for 30 plus years and I don't think that education ever comes out of my blood and doing good and seeing people advance and overcome some of their problems in their life and that is what I have as a desire and to pass it on to people who desire to do good also every sign that we have seen along our, our steps to this healing center told us that this was the right thing. A beautiful hill, a beautiful country, a wonderful community. And we met with our neighbors to bring them in on the project so they understood what we were doing. We don't want to change the nature of our environment. We want to share it with other people so they can heal. Well said. There's a lot of healing that needs to be done. And that's what we are doing. And Ruth, our computer expert, actually before all the different problems that we've had with different confrontational groups, Ruth had purchased a, a web housing called Healing Virginia. And it was really a, a wonderful idea. And these are the steps that we've seen along the way that God has pushed us along. Now this Turning Point Healing Retreat Center is going to be located at 5130 Double Bridges Road in Meharan, home of Roy Clark, by the way, one yes. of the biggest country <laughs> superstars. Roy Clark is from Meharan, Virginia. But uh, when do you hope to open that for everything? Well, Steve, 2018, uh, we're going to be doing some regular programming. By that time, uh, Debbie and I are going to be living down here, too. We're going to have regular classes going and things, probably using uh, Kenbridge Community Center. Uh, St. Paul's Episcopal Church gave us a kitchen we can work in and stuff. Uh, and we hope we'll be prepping the land, building the road, getting the plans, permits. 2019, we're hoping to be groundbreaking and building our facility. In Meharan. In Meharan, yes, sir. Again, you will be doing activities other places in 2018. Yes, we are. Which is next year, folks. <laughs> not too far away, no. Not, not far away at all. Hmm. Um, how many people, I know you've got, I've got a picture here, folks, that says the board of directors at the future site of the main building. This was taken back in October of 2016. <laughs> it's got uh, Ruth and John, Joanne and Debbie. Mm -hmm. How many people all together are involved with this project so far well that's a great question because what really gave us a boost another one of those things uh we have teresa moore dr teresa moore who was uh born and raised and is a uh native of the county who's been a physician in the area or a native of virginia at least a physician in the area for years and it just so happened that when we came down to talk to our neighbors in april uh dr moore had left one practice and was for a short moment unemployed oh really so she showed up a little bit early and we had talked about this we needed we needed someone else on the board who had the same thoughts and feelings and i'll tell you she's a she is a western doctor physician she is trained but she believes in the same way that there are other places that healing isn't just about uh, the medicines that you give somebody or the surgeries that you do so when Dr. Moore retired for just a little bit, is that when she wrote the book? <laughs> well, <laughs> we had a, a short conversation before all the neighbors showed up that day over at John and Joanne's house. And somewhere in there she said, 
I used to write articles for one of the local papers, and it was called uh, Life on Purpose. For years, about five years, she I wrote remember, a weekly I article. I remember seeing that. What's the name of that book? Well, actually, it is called Life on Purpose Reflections Duh. by <laughs> Teresa Moore. <laughs> Life on Purpose Reflections by Teresa Moore. Look where you are, not ahead, not behind. I like that. Look where you are, not ahead, not behind. So Teresa Moore has this wonderful book, Life on Purpose, Reflections, mm -hmm. and uh, boy, some good information in mm -hmm. that. Now, actually, in October, which folks are going to be hearing on some of the ads that will be running, uh, in, in uh, October and once in November, Teresa's doing some book signings uh, and a book reading uh, here and there. So... Actually, her donations, everything, all the proceeds from this book are going to Turning Point. So it, is, it has been an incredible donation on her part, and it's all a fundraising effort to help us. We are a nonprofit, and currently we're waiting on the IRS for our 501c3 status. Great. That was a wonderful donation. That was an amazing donation. And not only that, it has 52 weekly readings is the way it's set up. And it's something to think about every week. So if, if someone wants to begin to look at their life a little bit differently, it's a perfect way to go. So y'all will be total nonprofit. Absolutely. 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 So there's five of us on the board. And actually, the, I think the only weakness that we have for what we have is that none of us has ever made a living asking other people for money. So, I've known I've known a few of those. <laughs> yes. So that's what we're we're working on learning. We're learning a lot about the nonprofit communities. We're learning how to ask people for help because this is not something we can do alone. It's a community effort. It's uh it's an effort bigger than us. And by pulling people together, that's what we mean by healing Virginia. Well, Ruth, I'm so glad that you're going to be a part of WSVS. We truly are a community radio station. We do things like we're doing now. And to the uh, Turning Point Healing Retreat Center, we're so glad that y'all are advertising with us. Thank you. Mm. Thank you. Thank you, sir. It's a win-win, and that's, that's the best way to go. Any last thoughts from Joanne Stugard? Well, God let our steps down here. And every step of the way, there have been doors hard to get through. And as I was saying to Ruth the other day, once those doors open up, he pushes us down the stairs. We can't keep up with what we're doing sometimes. And But every step, we're doing the right thing. Absolutely. Healing and the vision we have is like the sunshine in Virginia, bright and sunny. And Ruth, any, any final thoughts from you? Well, you know, one of the things is, is that we're living, uh, that uh, uh, men and women, liberals and conservatives, people from all over of every uh, age and every place can live together and can actually heal. Well, you know, hello, my name is Ruth and I'm an American human being. Okay. <laughs> and it was one more thing I wanted to tell you. Oh whether it be the uh, Cambridge Community Center or wherever you are, y'all keep us up to date and when the meetings are and make sure that WSVS and we'll read them on the air. Oh, absolutely. Thank you, sir. I appreciate that service. Nice to meet both of you, Joanne Stugart and Ruth Brown. Turning Point Healing Retreat Center. Eventually, they're going to be in Meharan. Thank you all so much. Thank you. HealingVirginia.org, too. Oh, yeah. Tell them that website again. HealingVirginia.org. HealingVirginia.org. Don't forget it. HealingVirginia.org. Check it out today. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Oh, wonderful interview. And uh, they made it happen. Joanne Stugart and Ruth Brown, Turning Point Healing Retreat Center. Again, they hope to have it in Meharan at uh, 5130 Double Bridges Road in Meharan, Virginia. They hope to be completed in 2019. Between now and then, they're going to host a lot of events, and we wish them the best. And we appreciate them sponsoring on WSVS. Get the word out. Tell your neighbors to advertise on WSVS. Hey, we're going to take more of your phone calls coming up right now. Yes. 
Steve Wynn with you. Thanks again, Ruth Brown and Joanne Stugart, Turning Point Healing Retreat Center. A lot of wonderful information there. And uh, we're going to go back to the phone line at 434-645-7400. Setting the phones back up again. Good morning.